Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to today's video, which is my March update for Fifty Shades of Green, um, hosted and created by the fantastic ladies. I will leave all the information you need in the description box below the video, so please do check it out before you leave. So, I do have a couple of rollouts uh, this month. So let me grab those. Uh, they are both eyeshadow palettes. Yes, I have been going absolutely ham on green eye looks for the last month and I am not mad about it. Uh, I'm not bored of it either. Uh, so the first one that is um, rolling out, guess it. Can you guess it? Can you guess it? Yes, it is my uh, Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I hit a fourth pan yes so the original goal was to hit four pans on this side of the palette however i soon realized that this shade was just too dark for me so i moved across and went into this shade instead and there we go we have four pans now in this palette i am so happy that this palette now looks more loved more used I'm um, so, so happy. Obviously, my favourite shade is still this one. Um, absolutely love that shade. This green as well was absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, um, I've also been dipping into this one as well. So we've got some usage on that as well. Um, so yeah, so happy that this one is looking so much more loved now. Uh, maybe it's a potential for pan that palette in the future now because I already have four pans and they were relatively easy to hit pan. That fourth pan did take a time to come um, but generally if I focus in on this palette I do feel like I can uh, hit pan quite easily on these uh, palettes so um, yeah I'm so happy about that I finally hit my fourth pan this has been in from the beginning and I'm so glad that I have hit a fourth pan in that palette the next one do you remember how just a month or two months ago I had said that I hadn't even touched this palette hadn't even played with it not properly uh not during this project anyway i had used it previously but um i really was inspired by uh taro from um cruelty free panna i believe um she had used this i heart revolution mermaid egg uh, as her pan that palette in 2022 i believe um I think she even carried it over from her pan that palette in 2021 um but she was trying to completely finish up this palette and it inspired me to use mine and for so long i didn't touch this thing and my goal was to just hit pan just hit pan in one shade and there it is guys look at it so yes finally i hit pan in this shade however that was not the only shade i was using when I use this palette. Um, this is the only matte shade in the palette, so it's no surprise that that is the one that I hit pan in. But this green shimmery shade is absolutely stunning as well. And this highlighter shade, which I don't actually count as a highlighter, I count these two shades as eyeshadows in my collection, in my makeup inventory. Um, I don't count these as highlighters because even when I'm using this palette, I very rarely use them as my highlighter. Um, so um, yeah, this um, this highlighter, which has a slight green hint to it, was really good as an inner corner highlight as well, or even just dabbed lightly over the top of the eye look just to brighten it up and give it an extra bit of uh, pizzazz and glitter and um, sparkliness. So yes another pan hit in a palette. So that is two pans hit this month. Do you know how many pans I generally hit in a month? Zero, big fat zero. So uh, yeah, very excited that I was able to hit pan in two palettes this month. So excited about that. Uh, so that was the only rollouts uh, for this month. Uh, so let's get into updates then. So because I have been doing a lot of green looks, I have been using this e.l.f. No Budge eyeshadow stick in uh, the, the Mint Melt collection uh, in Mint For You uh, as my eye base. 
and I have definitely used quite a bit of this now. We still have a ways to go, um, but I believe that when we first started, it was just peering over the top like that. And now I can roll it down all the way in there. So if I look, we're actually down to here now um, inside this tube, whereas it was just peering above the uh, line when I, I, I first brought it into the project. So it is in for 22 uses and um, back in December, which was the last time I used this pencil, I had used it a total of 12 times. I have used it a further five times in the last month. Like I say, been going ham with those green looks this last month. Um, however, the the uh, weight on this has gone from 13.85 last month to 13.79 this month. So yes, we have gone down in sort of size, but in weight, not so much. Um, but five uses, so happy on that. So this is now at 17 uses. So that makes five more uses to go. And uh, I can say this is uh, goal met. We do only have one month left in this project. So I will be working on my green eye looks for the next month. Nothing but green eye looks, I swear down, uh, to try and hit all my goals for these products. The next item is, oh, I forgot to get the main packaging out. Uh, so the next item is my very now battered um, thing. This was the iHeart Revolution Mint Chop Chip Color Correcting Primer, which I decanted into this little tub because this was giving me way too much product for my liking. So I decanted it into here and look at that not much left at all there was a point in this project where i thought this was never going to end but we are so close this has been in from the very beginning and it has taken me all year to use this up never again will i buy a color correcting primer in this big of a tube i'm sorry but this was how much uh, 0.91 floral ounces, that's for the US people, uh, 27 mils for the Europeans. Um, yeah, and I think there's still products left in there, to be honest, but I'm not going to cut it open. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I will be so glad when this is finally gone, because I don't need a colour corrector, not really. Um, I put it on to use it, but I don't really need it. So I am very happy with that. This uh, weighed 13.60 grams last month and now weighs 11.56 grams uh, uh, this month. And this has had six uses in the last month. So, yeah, um, a lot of weight change there. Uh, the next item. Will this get used before the finale? Your guess is as good as mine. Put your plate, place your bets, place your bets. Is this or is this not going to get used by the finale? Please tell me to use this. It's becoming a running joke with me nowadays, isn't it? Okay, moving on. Uh, the next item is my L'Oreal Pure Clay Detox Mask. I have used this once in the last month. I'm not going to open it again because I smacked myself uh, really hard on the knuckles the last time I opened it. But I can tell you it's not gone. It's not finished. I can't tell you weights on it because it's too heavy for my weighing scales. It's still a brick, you know. You could still knock someone out with this if they were to attack me but yeah still going um still i will never be, buy a clay mask like that again um it's just not my thing i don't 
I don't like them types of masks, I've discovered. Uh, the next item is my Cutex uh, nail polish remover in the nourishing um, type. And we are now down to when it stops jiggling. How about that? Um, I haven't been able to paint my nails very much over the last month because as you know I had a couple of really bad nail breaks back in February um, so I've only been able to do my nails twice in the last month um, so yeah um, I haven't had much use of this it has gone from uh, 90.47 to 77.59 so um, I might not have been able uh, to do my nails very much but um, I have definitely used quite a bit of this is this just, is this just evaporating now I don't know uh, this has a patented botanical oil blend uh, so yeah um, so that's that one uh, the Body Shop Peppermint Candy Cane Body Scrub, that is still in the bathroom, I forgot to get that. Still there, I'm still using it. Um, <clears throat> then I had brought in last month, I believe, my Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Crocodile Tears. Not used it, not used it a single time. Um, we're coming up to St. Patrick's Day, so maybe possibly uh definitely gonna get this used in the next month uh the original goal was five uses but because there is only one month left uh in this um project as long as i use it once as long as i use it once i'm going to say yay i've done i'm okay use it once and we'll be happy with that um and then last but not least oh this was a rollout as well this just happened today and i completely forgot because <laughs> i put it with the rest of my stuff to say yes update this but i forgot this hit goal too it is currently on my eyes right now so this is the revolution forever dynamic everlasting eyeshadow palette it looks like this and I currently have on my eyes this shade and this shade with this in the inner corner, this on my brow, a little bit of this in the crease and this to set all over my eye base. Um, I have got to say, uh, the goal for this was to use it five times. I have done that. Let me try and hold it like this so that you're not getting the flash of the mirror. Um, so I've got to say this... Um, I like eye base setting powder really really powdery like you dip your brush in and it's like poof it's like a loose powder kind of everywhere this shade is really nice for highlighting the brow however it is extremely shimmery so what I do is I apply it with one brush and then with a clean brush I then buff it in so that it's not too like woohoo you know uh, that is the technical term. This one, <laughs> this one is straight up glitter. No, no uh, base color to it. Just straight up glitter. Absolute no, no. I kind of want to um, just scrape that out of this palette because I'm never going to use it, and it's being counted in my makeup inventory, and and it's just it seems to me unfair to be counting an eyeshadow that i'm just never going to use and technically it's not even an eyeshadow it's just glitter it is pure look pure glitter uh that that's what it is it's just pure glitter really gritty really horrible uh uh what am I gonna? What, what am I gonna clean it on? Uh, what? I'm stuck. Um. Yeah. Look, it's just glitter. I don't like it. It's horrible. Um. I've got glitter everywhere now. I got everywhere. <sighs> and it's staining my fingers, and it's like, oh no. 
Ugh. If I get glitter in my eyes now, I'm going to cry. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going... I can't do it like that. I see other people doing it like that. I can't do it like that. So I think I am going to scrape that out and just declutter it out of this palette because I never want that on my eyes. And I'm worried as well that that might kick off into the other shadows without me realising it and I'll end up with glitter in my eyes. I don't want that. This shade is really, really nice uh, for darkening up the crease. Really nice matte shade. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This shade is on the inner corner of my eyes today. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Uh, the same, this one is on the outer corner of my eyelid. Uh, really nice as well. These two blend together beautifully on the eye. This gold, I kind of wish was kind of like a like an old gold, um, you know, where it's kind of like a really rustic kind of colour rather than this bright yellow shade. Also looks like it's getting a bit of hard pan there. Look, can you see that? Um, I wish it was just that old gold, that sort of like really rustic um, muted gold with like a hint of green in it because I feel like that would have been so much better. But I can see why they put it in because it's kind of like a pop of colour. Um, and this brown is just way too dark um, as a crease shade. Um, it's just too dark for me. I'm I'm not a massive fan. So um, so yeah, I I like this palette, but I have my favourite shades in it, and then other shades that I'm not so happy with. What's the matter, Dellen? Okay. Uh, so yes, I have hit goal on that one. So that is rolling out as well. So I I hit goal in three eyeshadow palettes this last month. They all have green in them. Um, I hit pan in two of them. And this one, I just hit a goal usage. Um, so yeah, I was trying to hit pan in that um, cream shade. Um, but it didn't happen, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and I'm happy with the usage that I got. We have one month left and I have only had 36 products in this project pan so far. Um, and I have three rolling out. So... <sighs> I debated what to do because it is 50 shades of green and I would like to try and get at least 50 products used. Um, so you're going to think I'm crazy and I probably am. Um, but I have seven more of these Jeffree Star lipsticks. They came in a box set. Um... I love greens, I do. I don't love Jeffree Star, not a fan, but I do love greens. That's why I bought this set. Um, so I'm gonna bring these in for seven, like one use each. So that's seven products. Um, so 36 plus seven is 43. So that's 43 and then then, guys, guys, I bought this. Um, I'm just going to shut the drawer before she ends up sitting in it. Um, I bought the Beauty Bay Earthy Palette, 42 pans. This wasn't the only palette I've bought recently. Um, it's... Look at it. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. I'm in love with this palette already and I haven't even been able to play with it. I have managed to swatch it. I have swatched every shade. However, I haven't had a chance to play with this. So what
what I'm going to say is um, I'm going to try. This is going to be crazy. I have seven slots left out of 50 to hit. So I am going to try and hit up to, I say up to, <laughs> up to seven pans in this palette. I have heard that these eyeshadow pans are really shallow and the Beauty Bay formula is really easy to hit pan on. So I am going to try and hit pan on up to seven shades. Let's let's try it. Let's see how many pans can I hit in the Earthy palette in one month. It's going to be like a pan that palette extreme. Um, what? And then what happened? Really? Oh, you should definitely go and tell Scott about that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to try and hit seven pans. Guys, wish me luck, wish me luck. I'm crazy. Um, I managed to hit two pans in one month. And I've been using those palettes a while. Um, but yeah, I'm told that they're easy to hit pan on, so we're going to do it. And it's going to give me an excuse to use this beautiful palette as often as I possibly can. So not mad about it, not mad about it at all. And even if I don't hit those seven pans, even if I only manage to hit one pan, at least I will have tried. At least I will have tried. So that is it. Wish me luck, guys, because I am going to bloody need it. Um, so, yeah, that is my penultimate update for Fifty Shades of Green. <sighs> Let's go, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.